OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro will be launched on 14th April as you probably already know about that. What's interesting about these two devices and which one should you be buying or should you even consider it? Well, firstly, the OnePlus is so popular and was able to shake the market as flagship killer because of its aggressive pricing, right? With flagship specifications and quality made phone all available at affordable price. Now, slowly, as you may have noticed, year after year, the pricing has gone up so much and probably it is not so affordable anymore as it used to be in its early iteration. So, let me know if you think the same or otherwise in the comment section down below. But despite this, it is still priced competitively when compared to the Galaxy devices from Samsung, of course. But then does OnePlus offers more features and customization options as its rival does? Um, not really, I guess. Also, the S20 Ultra is selling much better than expected. Now, with the OnePlus 8 as well as OnePlus 8 Pro's launch, it is interesting to see how it affects the Galaxy devices because they are already like flourished the market with uh, how they are offering. Anyways, the major difference between the 8 as well as 8 Pro is the display refresh rate. So, the OnePlus 8 gets 90Hz screen refresh rate while the 8 Pro gets 120Hz display rate. But then again, on day-to-day -day basis, like while you are using the phone, you may not notice that much. But think it this way, like if you are using 120Hz or 90Hz displays and suddenly you switch to like typical normal 60Hz displays, you will instantly feel the difference of how buttery smooth the 120Hz or even the 90Hz refresh rate display is. So considering all that plus uh, this is the AMOLED Super AMOLED display and add to that it has got like 13 records it has broken with the display thing uh, set by display mate as you already know about that. But I will say that it could be like top one of the uh, three best display phones right out there in the market. So when it launches, obviously. Also, the OnePlus 8 has lower resolution display and screen size, 6.55 inches versus 6.78 inches, which is pretty much like any other phones in the market. So nothing special over here. So the 8 Pro could be better, but if the pricing between the two, like OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro will be uh, say between 5,000 rupees, like if uh, you are paying for OnePlus 8 Pro, uh, just 5000 over the OnePlus 8, then I think it's uh, pretty much worth the price, worth asking price for that extra display resolution bump up. So, the next major difference is the camera department. Like the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro, those share same sensor that is 48 megapixel, which is not so exciting, especially when there is already 108 megapixel cameras. Forget about 64 megapixel, there are already 108 and I think 192 megapixel something I saw in the news, like they are already launching that 192 megapixel camera and this one still stuck with 48 megapixel. So it's uh, okay, I guess. Also the aperture is not crazy like f1.7, f1.5 which the other phones have. This one uh, gets it with f1.8 meaning there won't be like a huge jump up in uh, night situation, night scenes. So which isn't exciting either. So what's unique here then is OnePlus 8 Pro gets 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, which could give you better ultra wide pictures than the competitors. So if you love capturing like ultra wide pics, then this could be interesting and sets you apart from the rest of the phones or rest of the pictures you see out there. Also, there is 8 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom that I found interesting because already it's a telephoto lens, but then you still get to zoom in uh, to like three times the uh, focal length of that telephoto lens, which may be like uh, helpful in some situations on 8 Pro, but the OnePlus 8 gets only 2 megapixel macro camera. So you won't see the macro camera in the 8 Pro. The video department delivers the same on either phones, but since you have a telephoto on 8 Pro, you can get video shoot like from different angles. Both phones get 30 watts fast charging. Again, nothing interesting here. Only OnePlus 8 Pro gets the reverse charging that is of 3 watts only. So guys, what do you think of these two phones? Does it sound in exciting enough to go ahead and just buy or will you wait for the OnePlus 8T, 8T Pro maybe? Yeah, let's see. Uh, share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit that like button if you like this uh, brief video about OnePlus 8 Pro and 8. Uh, and uh, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. I will see you all in another one. Till then, take care everyone guys. Bye-bye.